Ow. All right, Team Freedom hey, Reigns. Hey, welcome, welcome, everybody. It's another Monday, and so that means hashtag that means TFR. Motivation team, Monday. Team Call is coming to you live right now. And if you're on here live with us, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for blocking out this bit of time and saving it for this call, for us to help you with the information you need to be successful in growing your life vantage business. But if you're not able to be on here live, don't fret. We've got you covered. You can go and subscribe to the Team Freedom Reigns YouTube channel and Freedom Reigns SoundCloud. And then that way you'll be notified every single time that we upload new training, new content. You'll have it waiting for you. All right, this business is all about celebration, guys. The big things, the little things, and everything in between, right? And so we wanna make sure all of you are aware of the different ways that we can celebrate together, starting with our weekly celebrations of Sensational Saturday. Every Saturday, there will be a post on the Team Freedom Reigns page where we wanna hear your big wins and your little wins every step towards your success here in your life vantage business. You can celebrate there. And then every single month, we'll also be celebrating the top enroller leaderboard, as well as those people that have hit pinnacle additional ranks in their business every single month. So go and congratulate the people that are on those lists for August, because guess what? Today is around August. Yeah, October. September. And then tomorrow is going to be September leaderboard. So make sure you go and congratulate these guys yep. um, before the next one goes up. All right, next here. Make sure that you know how to close out the month strong. We do this every single month. It's the same stuff pretty much. You just need to be consistent in how you're closing out the month because the way you close out the month is the way you start the month, right? Because you're going to be doing follow-ups with people and setting appointments into October from your follow-ups in September that you didn't quite get closed. But guess what? There's still, you've got six hours still on the clock. Make do not happen. stop until every second is gone. You can build your business in the nooks and crannies, five minute time slots. And we've got lots of those before the end of September. So make sure that you're double checking that you've got your own personal order in. You've got your qualification of the minimum of 100 or 200 in PV to get paid commissions. Um, checking your striking distance reports for your team and making sure that they're all qualified too, because that's part of being a great leader is making sure that your team has everything covered as well not doing it for them, but pointing out what needs to be done next, right? This is what we do next. Um, and also I love to use the new enrollment report for closing out the month strong, because if they've had an enrollment, they're working their business. And we really want to focus on the people that are super focused on growing so that we can help put fuel on the fire that they've started in this month. Um, and by the way, if you are interested in getting in a pre-order today, you can still do that as well. And if you're not looking to hit a big rank or really help someone else rank advance right now, you can still do your pre-orders starting tomorrow to pick up at Elite Academy in Long Beach. So don't stop. If there's still minutes left, you've got time. And this is a big deal. We big just deal. posted this on the Team Freedom Reigns Facebook page as well as other of our team pages. You gotta go and check out this. And if you're interested in being part of this, you need to put yes in the comments, type yes in the comments. There will be additional information coming along. We're working with other elite leaders in rolling this out tomorrow. So we need to know if you're in or not. So go and put yes in the comments of this post where you can see it. All right, Elite Academy mm -hmm. is this so week. Exciting. It's this week and it's super exciting because we have got this massive launch of this <clears throat> tier one category creating um, product, Protanum NAD. We are on it. If you can't tell, I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> jumping out of my skin here. But you guys, it's not too late. And our guests today are going to help you prepare for it and tell you exactly why you need to be there. So just know that these events are vital to the growth of your business and being there, being able to say you were there for the launch of NAD is going to be something that is, it, it's going to be a benchmark in your business because you're going to see growth from here if you treat it like the true business that it is. Um, and at this event, we're going to have a special Team Freedom Reigns get together on Friday night, the 4th from 7 to 8 30 p.m. We were able to secure a room in the convention center and we have in its room S-7, S-7. We have got executive and master pro tens that are going to be stopping in. We have three corporate executives that are going to be stopping in. And we have some Team Freedom Reign leaders that are going to be sharing their hearts, passion, and excitement around this launch. You do not want to miss it. So if you're going to Long Beach, make sure that you are there. 
Absolutely. And at Elite Academy in Long Beach, there's going to be in-store promotions that you'll be able to take advantage of to be able to get yourself earning more points towards the all-inclusive trip to Cancun for Elite Academy in February. You can earn this whole trip for free, guys, if you take it seriously again. Focus on where you can get points, and this is one of those places, is the in-store promotions. All right, so I'm super <laughs> excited. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to let Dondi take it over from here because he's going to intro this phenomenal leader that's part of Team Freedom Reigns because he's got some golden nuggets to share with you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Marcy. Yes, we are super excited to have Mr. Greg Hartman as our special guest today. Let me share with you a little bit about Greg. Uh, we met Greg, obviously, uh, he enrolled in Team Freedom Reigns and enrolled in Life Vantage several months ago, and I just had a chance to meet with him live a couple times and talk with him many, many, many times, but one of the things you're going to find out right away is his expertise and his mm. really his understanding and deep, deep knowledge of this industry. Um, let me share with you a little bit about his bio. Greg is somebody who's got a very unique perspective in network marketing. His formal education is as a mechanical engineer. He refers to himself now as a recovering engineer. He has 30 years experience in the field. As a top earner in the industry, he's built organizations of over 15,000 people. He also has authored a book on network marketing. It's called Do Due Diligence, Cutting Through the Crap in Network Marketing. As you can see a copy of it there, or a picture of it there on your screen. And I wanna share something with you. And there's obviously many books out there about network marketing. Your first year in network marketing, who stole the American dream, six figures in six months, and all kinds of other books out there about network marketing, but there's none out there like this. All the books that you've seen previously about network marketing is once you're in network marketing. There was never a book that I know of other than this. How to determine, number one, is network marketing even for you? Are you cut out for network marketing? And, if you, and that's the, how this book starts. And once you decide that you are, it helps you figure out what company to join. Looking at the distribution model, looking at the compensation plan, looking at leadership and how they work, the history of the company and all the six things that we talk about. When we talk about how to look at a company and evaluate them that Peter Drucker came up with, Greg masterfully spells all of that out in this book. So here's one thing I know for sure. The people who read this book will know exactly what company to go with. <laughs> this is my point. Greg wrote the book and he came out of 10 years of retirement from network marketing to join at Life Vantage. So what does that tell you first and foremost? Number one, the guy has a complete and very keen eye on how to evaluate this industry but he's got a proven track record. He's been to the top of companies out there and he came out of retirement and chose this one. That should speak about number one, Greg, who he is, and number two, Life Vantage and who we are. We are super excited to have Greg ab aboard. I wanna kind of finish his, his bio here. He spent the last 25 years heavily immersed in personal development and personal transformation, including seven and a half years traveling around the world, delivering personal transformation programs to many different people and cultures. He currently has an organizational company called Cultural Architecture and has recently re-entered the network marketing industry to join Life Vantage. So Greg, yeah. please, please, thank you. So please join us and thank you so much for being our special guest today. We cannot wait to hear what you've got. Seriously. Well, first, Donnie and Marcy, thank you so much. Um, I want to take a minute and first say thanks for having me on the call. I always consider it an honor and a privilege to be able to speak with people about anything, but particularly about things I'm passionate about, like network marketing. And I think it'll make a difference for people tonight to just share a bit more of my story. Based on my background, I got invited to what Life Vantage calls their red carpet program, and I got to sit across the conference table. Donnie and Marcy were there uh, with Darren Jensen, the CEO, and after spending a day, I looked the guy dead in the eye and said, I love your company. I'm really impressed with what I saw. I will be on your products for life, but I have no interest in building it. <laughs> and he actually thanked me for being that forthright and not BSing them because he said so many people come in they tell us these big stories and then they go off and do nothing I really appreciate your candor and that was um, toward the end of last year 
And then at the end of last year, I had to move home to care for my father, who, by the way, Friday turns 88. I won't be here to celebrate his birthday. I'll be at the Elite Academy. Speaks a little bit about what I'm going to speak about today in commitment because I'd really love to be there for his birthday, right? Um, but I had to move home to care for my dad. And after about two months of being at home, this thing called network marketing really started to like speak in the back of my brain. And, you know, I'm stuck in a house 24 seven. What can I do that'll keep me occupied, that'll give me fun and make me some money? And what better than a network marketing business? Because caring for my dad, like I tell people, I can sit across the kitchen table and keep an eye on him at the same time, be talking on my headset and emailing and Zooming people. So, you know, after 10 years being gone, I'm back in the business. And the bad news about being out 10 years, I don't have any teams to bring over. All my quote big hitters from the past are either solidly in other companies or they don't want anything to do with network marketing at this time. So I'm building like everybody hearing my voice called grassroots style, a person at a time, sharing. And you know, I'm gonna share some of the things that work specifically in regard to attending the Elite Academy. Um, so here's the first thing. Everybody that's listening, that's going to the Elite Academy, I wanna acknowledge that. You have separated yourself from the majority of other people in this business just by making that commitment. You know, there's a thing in life called Pareto's Law. It's commonly referred to as the 80-20 rule, but you just put yourself in the 20%. And then when you attend the next one after this one, if this happens to be your first, you even separate yourself further. And I'm gonna get into why attending events is so important. And I'll even share a little bit. So I want to acknowledge it. It's really a big deal that you did that. And now since you're going, let's talk about how to maximize your value because you've just invested your time and your money, right? And I know it's important to you. And I know there's some of you listening to me right now that actually had to stretch to make it happen, right? So Consider this, this really is an investment in your future, okay? So we're gonna talk about how do you maximize that investment? Well, here's the first way. And remember I said you already separated yourself just by saying I'm gonna go. So one way to attend is you could just show up. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it's kind of like in life, people show up, right? Like I wanna back up a bit and kind of call some people out. But if you don't have a notebook in front of you right now, and you're not taking notes on what's going on with this call, you just kind of showed up to the call. Um, now, you don't make yourself bad or wrong about that, but one of my mentors over the years said to me, life leads clues. So it's a clue if you don't have a notebook in front of you right now, and if you weren't planning to show up at the Elite Academy with one ready to take notes about everything we're gonna get that weekend, okay? So if you don't have a notebook, grab one so you can take some notes on what we're about to go over. So that's what I mean about just showing up. Okay, I'm here, you know, I'll have a coffee, I'll listen, I'll hang out with some people, have some good dinners, and then I'll leave and go, gee, what a great weekend that was, I had a lot of fun. I want you to do all of that and I want you to maximize your value. So the way you maximize your value is you actually show up inside a powerful intention. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'll use an example from my past. Um, uh, network marketing brought me my boyhood dream of racing cars professionally. So one of the ways you can show up at the track is you just kind of show up, put your driver's suit on and go out there and it goes however goes or you can actually show up to win or worst case get a podium finish but the intention is I'm going to show up to win if you're showing up that way it starts very differently like you actually start studying track maps now today it's a little different you actually even get on simulators and you can practice the track on a computer before you even show up there and then you decide you know like you talk to your crew chief and you walk the track and you take notes and you do things at night, but it's showing up inside of a powerful intention. Like I'm here to win 
and I'm going to come prepared and then I'm going to do the things once I arrive to really ensure that that happens. Well, same thing with showing up at the Elite Academy. So um, let's talk about what that means. And it means I've already done some thinking and preparation to create intentions about, and I'm going to give you four specific things. So the first is, what do I want out of the Elite Academy? Okay, so you can actually create that before you arrive there. Like, what am I intending to get out of this investment of my time and money? And then the second thing you want to look at is how am I going to participate? By the way, I'm going to go through these in more detail in a minute, but I want to give you the four. So how am I going to participate is the second one. Then the third one is what am I going to leave with? So I actually want to look as I'm leaving the Elite Academy, what do I want to be taking away for my business, for myself, for my life? And then finally, and this is a key item, what are the actions I'm going to take immediately coming out of the Elite Academy in Long Beach? Okay, so let's talk about those four things in detail. And what I'm going to do that I think will make it real for everybody is I'm gonna share examples of what I've created for myself. And then I have one of my key distributors, Ted Carbonaro, you'll meet him in a few minutes. And Ted's gonna share what he created. So I recommend you leaders on, you actually create yours and then get the people on your team that are joining you to create theirs and do that work between now and Thursday. And you got to create your own. Now you're going to hear mine and some of you are going to think, oh, those sound really great. I'll just take Greg's. And look, you're welcome to do that, but you won't get the benefit out of doing the thinking and the looking for yourself so that you created them, so that they're real and so that they're specific to you. And you know, there's something in life called intellectual effort that human beings hate. And I want to talk a little bit about that. So many of us go to the gym or we worked out or we've gone jogging. And we all know how much we resist doing that stuff. Like we hate it, right? So we resist physical effort because that's what that takes. It's like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym and all of that. Well, human beings resist doing intellectual effort even more than physical effort. It's actually really hard to get people to think and think for themselves. So the task I'm gonna leave you with as you leave the Zoom meeting tonight is to really do the intellectual effort, like to do the thinking and do the digging and do the looking to answer these questions for yourself so that when you arrive, they're authentic, they're real for you and they'll be valuable and that's how you'll really um, maximize your value. So the first question, what do I want to get out of the Elite Academy? This is what I created for myself. I want increased clarity on my path to Pro 7 by the Cancun Elite Academy. So I actually want to come out with more clarity about that. You know, I've got a picture now, but one of the things I'm intending is I even get a clearer picture. Like I come out with a laser focus and I can see it happening. Um, number two, and this is really exciting, right? I want to be educated enough on the NAD Synergizer to be dangerous. And then I want to be on fire about the possibility of the product. Okay, so that's an intention I'm creating for myself. Another thing I'm creating is I want to connect with two to three Pro 9s and Pro 10s that I haven't met yet. And you know, when Donnie and Marcy and I were talking, preparing this, one of the things they said, and I really loved it, and I wanted to make sure I included it, is if you see, and they don't even have to be a pro nine or 10, they may be a pro seven, but if you see somebody speaking on the platform and they really resonate with you and they touch the heart, you know, touch your heart, find that person, hunt them down and spend some time with them and connect with them. Those kind of connections and relationships will make so much of a difference for you as you move forward into business. Okay, and then the final piece I'm creating, because I have a number of my team members coming with me, is I want my relationship with my team members 
to be forged into lifetime partnerships. Like the guy you're going to hear from, Ted, he was my one and only distributor that attended Kansas City with me. But hey, I had somebody in my group there. It was a start, right? Um, and like that dude and I bonded for life. Like I love this man like a brother. And we had never met in person until we arrived in Kansas City and shared a room over the weekend. And it was a beautiful thing. You know, we became truly lifelong friends and partners in this business. So that's my personal answers to the first question. The second question, how am I, am I gonna participate? And you know, I'll give you an example right now on the Zoom. Notice how I'm kind of leaned into the computer like this. I can also participate in life like this. Very different, right? Okay, so how am I gonna participate arriving there? I'm gonna arrive early to everything, one. I'm gonna sit up front, or at least as close to the front as I can get, given the crowd and how seating is arranged, okay? But I'm going for the front, right? I'm gonna have a notebook and take copious notes. I'm gonna network with people like crazy. And I'm gonna hang out in the lobbies of the hotel and of the convention center before and after the event to network with other distributors. And I want to tell you something, some of the, as you move on in the company and you look back to the many elite academies you will have attended, you will find some of the most powerful and moving things you got out of those academies happened not in the main events, but in the sharing and the bonding with other distributors that may not even be in our group that share their stories and it sparks something in you that goes on to really drive you in the business. So don't underestimate that out of the meeting, sharing and connecting with people, okay? And then this is an interesting thing that many people overlook and one of my mentors shared this with me and it literally will explode your business and that is call distributors and prospects throughout the weekend. Like when you're on a break, pick up your cell phone and be like, oh my God, you're not going to believe this NAD synergizer. That excitement is so fresh and real for people when you're calling them from the event, it makes a huge difference. And you know, if you've got prospects, it's worth reaching out to them from the event. There's something about the timber of your voice and everything you just come across differently when you're actually willing to make the calls while you're immersed in the event. Okay, so share the excitement as it's happening throughout the weekend. And then the third question, what am I going to leave with? And, you know, as I looked at my intentions, I really saw two things I want to leave with. I'm going to leave on fire about my future with Life Vantage and with the intention of being in massive action starting Monday, October 7th when I get back. And I'm going to leave with lots of NAD product to sample to people, okay? So that's what I'm intending to leave with. And one of them's like a physical thing, like my suitcase full of NAD Synergizer. And then finally, um, and very importantly, what are the actions I'm gonna take immediately coming out of the Long Beach Elite Academy? So number one, get NAD samples out to all current customers. And in our group, Cynthia has a term, we call them NSPs, new seeds planted. We think it's nicer than prospects. You know, the, we have our prospect list, but the minute we talk to them and show them a three minute ABC, then they become a planted seed. And you know, when you plant a seed, what do you do? You nurture it until it either germinates or dies. Except our seeds never die, they just go on a germinate later list, okay? But those people are all gonna get samples of the NAD from me. And then I'm gonna call five to 10 new people every day to plant new seeds. That's what I'm creating. I'm gonna be registered for the Cancun Elite Academy. And I'm gonna share about that a little bit based on this next thing. I will enroll 15 of my team members to be in Cancun with me, okay? And you know, I mentioned Ted, when I went to Kansas City, which was my first event, I really didn't kick off my business till the end of March. 
And I think my volume tripled coming out of the Kansas City event. I jumped from Pro 2 to Pro 4 after that event. That's how powerful these events are, right? Um, but coming out of that event, I said I'm going to have 15 people with me in Long Beach. Well, I don't have 15 coming with me. I have five. But I created a goal for 15. And look, with five coming, I have a five times increase over what I had in Kansas City. Now, imagine if I did five times every time, you know, the next time I had 25 and so on. It gets out of control really fast. And I'll give you kind of an insider secret to building a huge downline. You can do it by playing one game. Like if you want to create one game to grow your business, it's this. When you're sitting there in Long Beach, look to your left and look to your right and count how many of those people are in my downline, on my team sponsored by me. And if it's zero, nothing wrong with that. You're just getting started. The game is, okay, in Cancun, how many is that going to be? And let's say in Cancun, it's three. It's you and three of your people. Awesome. Then the next game, whatever the next event is after that, how many is it going to be then? Well, I'm going to go for me and 10 of my people. And what starts to happen is that begins to snowball. And it also has your people being in that Pareto's 20%, not the 80%. And you start to get this team of committed people that are taking the right actions. And, you know, I can't speak enough about how the events affect your psyche. Like there's all the stuff you say and you try and convey to people, but none of it captures what happens to you by being there and the difference it makes. Like I said, it's like that I went from pro two to pro four, right? And I swear I didn't do anything different. So what shifted? However, I was coming across based on being at that event. So that alone can explode your business. So if you got two coming to this event, say I'm going to have five at the next one, or I'm going to have 10 on my team at the next one. Okay, so to recap, what are the questions you want to answer? What do I want to get out of this EA? That's number one. Number two, how am I going to participate? Number three, what am I going to leave with? And then finally, what are the actions I'm going to take immediately coming out of the Long Beach Elite Academy? And, you know, I think if you do the work, you know, and I shared a lot of great stuff about what I'm creating. And here's the thing about what I'm creating. It really inspires me. So it's going to drive me and it's going to be real for me while I'm there. So do the work, do the thinking to say, hey, what do I want to get out of my experience and how do I want to design it? And what I want to do is actually bring Ted on and Marcy, I'll have you do that because I'm not a Zoom expert yet and actually give Teddy a chance to share what he's creating for himself coming out of the Elite Academy, just so you can hear another person's, you know, ideas on what they're creating for themselves. So Ted, over to you, my friend. Yeah, Ted, you're all ready. You just start talking. Uh, okay. Hi. Hi, and uh, thank you all for being here, and I'm honored to have an opportunity to share with you. And, um, you know, no, no coincidences that uh, Greg is my immediate upline, and we spent, you know, three days or four days connected at the hip there when we first met, and as I was listening, Greg, to you share your um you know the things that you're taking um out of this you know some of mine are very similar so no coincidences so um what do i intend to get out of the elite academy um first and foremost uh to get myself and my team members inspired and lit up build excitement and belief for my team and then, <clears throat> similar to yours, get a deeper connection with my team members, understanding, deeply understanding their why, and understand how NAD, NAD works. Um, so second question, how will I participate? Um, and so what I said is, um, I, I'm committed to speaking to a minimum of six new people per day, meeting and speaking to six new people per day, attend all team gatherings and generate, be a generator of excitement and enthusiasm at all our team gatherings. We have a number of team gatherings scheduled. And then <clears throat> lastly, um, under that question, I intend to like, 
it's, it's kind of similar to you said, but actually pull this information towards me. You know, I always, I'm going to have a notebook with me, but pull the information towards me like I'm sitting in front of a bountiful table full of food and I've been starving for two weeks. <laughs> I mean, that, I love that's it. what, um, that's the way I'm going to be there. <clears throat> um, so, uh, and so what do I intend uh, to leave with? And it's a strong commitment to reach Pro 6 by December 31st. Uh, I intend to leave with phone numbers and contact information for a couple of elites that I currently don't know, which mirrored something that you had, I heard. And um, I intend to leave there already registered, pre-registered for Cancun. Um, and the last question, um, what are the actions that I'm going to take immediately coming out of Long Beach? One, I said, commit to a power hour every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Greg knows I work a full-time job, and it's just been one of the things that I've struggle to do you know really make the time during the day so recommit or commit to a power hour monday wednesday friday i will be calling my a list or my fives the week i return i've kind of you know when i first you know when i first joined i made a lot of calls and um that's kind of fallen by the wayside um uh, I will be, and so I'll also contact all those seeds previously planted. And lastly, um, initiate my NAD promotion. Um, you know, just jump right into action, initiating that NAD promotion. So <clears throat> I, I know, you know, that, so I attended Elite Academy for the first time. When I met Greg, I was four weeks in and I, you know, knew nothing. I was barely four weeks and I think it was more like three weeks. I was a pro one coming out of there after Greg's inspiration and the whole Elite Academy's inspiration. I, you know, in a matter of a couple of weeks, uh, got to pro three. And, you know, and I just know the excitement, the enthusiasm, the belief that comes from, that gets generated um, uh, as a result of attending. And so I'm ready to take the next two uh leaps and um uh by the, attending this elite academy i can't wait awesome so, thank Ted. You. yay and just so everybody on oh, the call knows i can i say one ahead, more Ted. thing sure uh, i almost forgot so when we were sitting there you know you told me about you know that number one game you know look around on either side of you i had no team members there we shared my goal was to have three team members with me for long beach I almost had three. I have two that are attending. The third was like in and not in, just, you know, couldn't arrange childcare um, to be there. But, you know, out of the three I intended to have, two will be there. And um, so I, I love that you planted that seed with me at the beginning. And yeah, it makes a world of difference. So yeah, thanks. Ted, thank you so much. Excellent job, buddy. And, you know, I, that's exactly what I was going to acknowledge. I said I had five people coming, were three or you and the two people on your team. So Ted is currently my strongest leader. I anticipate he, because of the work he's doing, will continue to grow and, you know, continue to be that in our organization. And, you know, I have no doubt it's not a question of if, but just when he'll be a pro tech. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to the top together, buddy. So, we are. with that, Donnie and Marcy, I want to turn it back to you and just, you know, I love to train people. I love to speak. And I, you know, thanks for giving me this opportunity because I feel like I'm back in the zone of doing what I love. So, I really appreciate the opportunity. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Both of you. Ted, amazing job. Thanks so much, my friend. And by the way, Greg, I'm so glad you said that because we've got some plans for you. So we'll be asking you to <laughs> helping us out with some additional um, training opportunities here in the future. Great. So one last question for you, Greg, before we let you go entirely. 
And that is, you know, after you just got done doing this amazing training on the importance of events and what to do, you know, going into these events, um, what if you had someone on your team or know of someone that's part of Team Freedom Reigns or anybody that's a distributor that's on the fence? What would you tell them about attending Elite Academy in Long Beach, um, even though it's just a few days away? What would you say to them? I mean, it, it's really simple, Marcy, but it would be like, get off the fence and be there. Do whatever you have to do to be there. It's funny, on this side of attending, it, for some people, it looks like a, an impossibility. And once they're on the other side, it, without exception, people always said, oh my God, that was the best thing I ever did. Thank you for being persistent with me. Thank you for even being a little bit pushy and annoying. <laughs> but I know the difference these kind of events make. And if you're willing to be unreasonable like that and really tell your people, look, it's only Monday night. You still got time to get a plane ticket and get a ticket to the event and be there. Look, don't worry about a room. If we got to put a roll away in our room to accommodate you, we'll handle you. Just get your butt to the event. That's what I tell them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And that's the thing too, is that people have to learn to say yes to themselves and yes to this opportunity for it to be a success. Um, and then just do what they have to do to figure it out because they always will. They'll be able yeah. to. We are yeah. capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for mm. that if we just say yes and then just figure it out and let people help you figure it out sometimes too. It goes a long way. So guys, thank you so very much for being um, tremendous leaders and tremendous um, teachers tonight on this call. We appreciate you both so very much. We're super excited to see you in Long Beach Absolutely. and everybody else. So thank you so very much. You want to say something before we say those last? Yeah, thank things? you so much, Greg. And thank you, Ted. You guys were just absolutely impeccable with the information that you brought. I especially loved what you said, Greg, about sharing as it's happening and getting out in between sessions. You gotta to go to the bathroom, call somebody on the way there, call them on the way back, and share your excitement and your enthusiasm because a text, no matter if you use punctuation and emojis and capital letters, will never convey how, how powerful you're moved when they hear your voice. So I love, exactly. absolutely love that. Thank you so much for sharing that pro tip with us. And thank you both for, for sharing your experience and, and the success that you've had thus far. Just like you said, life leaves clues. And the decisions that you're making to make the sacrifice to get there is probably the biggest clue of the predictability of the success you both have coming is that is making the commitment to be there and being there. So thank you both for the leadership Absolutely. you brought and the content you're sharing. You're with you Wonderful guys. Yes. All right. So before we close this out, remember tomorrow night, live opportunity overview, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Information will be going into your emails as well as on all the team Facebook pages. Invite, invite, invite. If you're not inviting, your business will never grow. Get them to the tools and the opportunities to share this information. And then make sure you go and find that post that we made about sharing NAD with 10,000 people tomorrow. We need you. Huge. We need you to be part of this. We need your participation uh, because this is going to be amazing. We're partnering with some other elite distributors that are going to be bringing the goods tomorrow. You'll get more details after you let us know that you're in. All right, guys. Thank you again for being with us on this hashtag, hashtag TFR, TFR Motivation, Motivation Monday. Monday call. We appreciate every <laughs> single one of you. Love you, love you, love you. Have a great night. Thanks, guys. guys. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.